Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. This is the fourth video in a series showing how to build a real-time analytics application on HTTP access logs. And in this video, we're going to learn how to import the enriched access log stream into Apache Pinot. Now you'll remember that this is the architecture diagram for the entire system that we're building. But for this video, we're only going to be focused on those two components in the middle. So the event streaming platform, that's Apache Kafka, and then the serving layer, which is Apache Pinot. And if we move over to the terminal now, we're going to use the kcat command to have a look at the enriched access logs stream. And so what we can see is there's some stuff under the agent property, but most of what we're interested in is under expanded message. And if we open VS Code, you can see here our Pinot schema. And you notice that we're only pulling out the fields that we're interested in. So we only want the ID, the URL, the method, the message, and then a few other fields as well. OK, and if we move over to the next tab, we can see the table config. And the most interesting thing here is that we're reading the enriched access logs topic from Kafka. And if we scroll down a bit to the bottom of this file, we can see the transform config. And we're going to need to define some transform functions to pull the nested data out of the enriched access log stream and into our PO table. So let's just put the table config underneath the schema and start adding those functions. And we're going to be using the JSON path function to help us do this. Let's start with the ID field. So this field is nested under agent. So we need to put in agent as the first parameter. And then we can do $.ID to get the ID property out of that field. And then let's do the same thing for the URL. But this time, we're starting from expanded message. And then we can do the same for method and the same for message. And we can even do it for doubly nested fields like OS name and OS version and also browser name and browser version. Not to forget referrer, of course. And then finally, we've got to get the timestamp, so TS. Uh, and with this one, it's a little bit extra work to do because as well as using JSON path, we then need to use the from date time function to get the date time string in the proper format that's expected by Pino's timestamp data type. And so once we've done that, we can go back to the terminal and we can call the add table command. And this will create the table and the schema at the same time. Uh, and so you can see, there we go, we've got our table. So now we can go over to the Pino UI and see what data we've got in there. And so you can see we've got our access logs table all loaded. Uh, we've got the fields. And if we do a little browser on there, we can see, yeah, it looks like all the fields have been correctly loaded, uh, which is what we would have expected. And now let's write a query. So let's see what's the most popular browser in the access logs. So we can write that query. Don't forget to put the field in quotes uh, because it has a period in it. Otherwise, it will throw you an exception. And so we can see, there we go, Firefox is the most popular browser. Uh, and how about if we add in the version as well? Uh, and then we can see it's Firefox 3.8 is the browser that's being used. That's the end of this video. And so far in this series, we've taken raw log entries all the way from files into Apache Pino via Apache Kafka and the Faust stream processor. And next time, we're going to look at how to build a dashboard on top of this data. So I hope you'll join me in that video.